Hi, good morning. This is Luca Escoffier and I work for the Industrial Liaison Office of the University of Trieste. But here today we are not at the university, we are in Area Science Park, the, one of the major technology parks in Italy. And specifically we are in the Laboratorio Nazionale del Consorzio di Biotecnologie to talk to one of our uh, professors about one of the inventions that he conceived here in the lab. Uh, good morning, Professor. Can you tell us your name and your research area? My name is Giannino Del Sal. I'm a cellular and molecular biologist, and I'm specialized in molecular oncology. So basically, I study genes and proteins that are altered in cancer cells and are responsible for cancer growth and progression. Can you tell us something about the invention that you conceived here in this lab? In the Laboratorio Nazionale Chip LNCIB at Area Science Park, where I work with my team, we have identified a group of small molecules that block the action of a mutant protein correlated with many different aspects of tumor development and aggressiveness. This mutant protein, whose name is a mutant P53, stimulates and sustains the growth of cancer cells and their capacity to give metastasis. The molecules that we have identified are able to bind and neutralize mutant P53, thus killing cancer cells that express it. Okay, thanks. Can you uh, tell me and tell us what are the uh, major advantages of this invention? Well, uh, in cells, a normal version of P53 normally acts as an essential guardian of our genome preventing uh, DNA damages that could cause uh, uh, the transformation from normal into a cancer cells. However, in more than 50% of human tumors, P53 is altered. And similarly to Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, in its mutant version, P53, Mr. Hyde now, does not protect the cells anymore from malignant transformation. On the contrary, it acts as a crucial promoter of tumor growth and metastasis. So by interfering with mutant P53, we can block tumor progression. And on the basis of this idea, we have identified a group of uh, short peptides that we call aptamers, able to specifically bind and block the action of mutant P53, preserving the wild type function of P53, thus the function of Dr. Jekyll in our normal cells. This is pretty clear, but uh, to better understand, can you tell us what are the most suitable applications of this invention? The peptides that we have identified represent a valid instrument to develop novel drugs able to target and kill cancer cells. In fact, when our molecules are used to treat cell lines derived from breast cancer that express mutant P53, specifically the action of these peptides kill the cells. So these peptides can be used to design or screen for peptidomimetic drugs acting against mutant P53. Indeed, this mutant protein is present in tumor cells of many different origins, not only in breast cancer. Therefore, our peptides have the potential to be useful also in other type of tumors. Our molecules, which are patented across Europe and the United States, may provide the basis to develop and, uh, uh, new strategies for cancer therapy. Considering their uh, specific mode of action, they give the opportunity to uh, selectively and effectively target and eliminate cancer cells without harming healthy uh, body cells and may find applications in uh, many different types of cancers. As to the uh, IP status of this invention uh, at the university, uh, we filed across Europe applications also in the US and of course we are open as usual to potential collaboration agreements, we are open to sell uh, the, pattern, uh, the pattern invention and also to license it. So for having more information just follow the link at the end of this short clip. Thank you.